Whether you fish the Adirondacks, the Catskills, pictured here, the rivers of Pennsylvania or the streams of New England, you've heard of the green drakes. Here's a simple pattern that's quick and easy to tie. Make sure you have some in your fly box should you find yourself on a river where these large mayflies hatch. The hook I'm using is a standard dry fly hook in a size 10, but I've tied them as large as a size 6. Begin by starting the tying thread a hook eye width back from the eye of the hook and make five or six turns before cutting the tag end. Take more wraps until the thread is at the hook point, then bring the thread back to the original tie in. For the wing, deer hair dyed olive is used. After cutting this hair from the hide and combing out the fur, place it in a hair stacker and give it a good stacking. Measure the wing from the hook bend to the eye and then transfer that measurement up to the original tie-in point. Take two loose pinch wraps around the hair and while holding it tight against the hook, pull down on the thread so that the deer hair flares. Keep tight pressure on the hair and take five or six tight turns of thread to secure it. Take your scissors and trim the hair at an angle, then wrap the thread over the butt ends to make a smooth ramp for the body of the fly. For the tail, or in this case the shuck, I'm using shuck yarn from Fly Tires Dungeon, but Zelon, Antron are all perfectly fine. Start behind the wrap butt ends and tie the shuck down to the hook bend. Take an extra wrap under the shuck. Bring the thread back to where you tied in the shuck to catch any loose fibers and to give a smooth taper for the body. For the body it's hard to beat superfine dubbing in a light tan. Take a small amount of dubbing and spin it on the thread. Start at the base of the tail and make tight even wraps up the hook shank. You should apply the dubbing several times rather than try to make one large dubbing noodle. This will give you the best taper and it will help avoid any problems that you might have putting too much dubbing on the thread. When you reach the wing, pull up and wrap the dubbing in front of the wing to keep it standing. Once again, it's better to use more than one application. You won't have any doubts that the wing will stay upright. After the wing is secure, wrap the thread to the eye and give a five or six turn whip finish. Now you can cut the tying thread 
and the fly is finished. An optional step would be to use some head cement. If you haven't done so, trim the shark to about a length of the body. And that's a simple green drake ready for the water. Thanks for watching this video.